Hello, Patrick Bartlett here. Welcome to another quick little wine chat at The Loft. So today we're gonna to talk about this strange phenomena that we're all noticing now more and more, screw caps. Those of you who grew up in the new world in California and the rest of the US know that when back in the 70s and 80s, everything that was a screw cap on a bottle of wine was considered to be a very, very cheap, probably a bad bottle of wine unless you were Aunt Mabel and loved your jug gallo wine in the fridge. Well, that has changed thanks to the New Zealanders. You see, screw caps are really good for wine, especially if the wine is not meant to be aged. And just a little sidebar, only about 2% of the wine made in the world is meant to be aged. The rest of the wine that we drink day in and day out is meant to be enjoyed now or within a few years of bottling. So, I just pulled out two Sauvignon Blancs, one with a screw cap, one with a traditional cork. The difference between the screw cap and the traditional cork is the screw cap allows absolutely zero oxygen to get into the wine. By not allowing any oxygen to get into the wine, the wine stays fresh because oxygen oxidizes the wine or basically begins to age and degrade the wine over time. So a screw cap completely stops that. A cork generally stops it, but depending on how porous the cork is or whether it was a good quality cork or whether the cork had some sort of a bacterial problem, you can allow outside influences to get into your wine. Where with a screw cap, you can't. Oh, no. by the way, this one is real easy because it comes off. No wine pools, you can take it on picnics, all that good stuff. And oh, look, I can pour me some real fast, yay. And when I'm done, I can put my screw cap back on, nice and tight, and it stays fresh until the next time I want to pour myself a glass. So, there's your quick little lesson on screw caps versus corks. Screw caps are not bad for wine. Thanks and have a great day.